kicked. Well, they'll have to drag me out, kicking and screaming. Have you seen the state of these? Do you know how much they cost? I don't know what's wrong with that. You know, there's everything I had. What am I supposed to do now, eh? Come on, stop being stupid and get out the truck. Can you step aside, please, madam? All right, madam, we're going to need you to turn the engine off and step out of the vehicle. Oh, hey, hey. She ain't been the same since we had news about Stacey. They've given her a year inside. We're not going to warn you again. We'll do your worst. Lock me up and throw away the key. Yeah, we will have to use force. What, on an old woman? I am not old. It's Stacey. Oh, she was to be with Stacey. All right, time's up. No, wait. Uh, uh, just give her a minute. I'll talk to her. We have been mugged off. Well, I wouldn't quite say that. It's harsh. I'll tell you what I could do. I could uh, chuck the cork back in there and just charge your bra for a bottle with you. Nah, it's fine. Just, just give me a whiskey. Not that bad, is it? Jean, how's this going to help anyone? Well, you wouldn't understand. What would Stacey say if she was here? It's got nothing to do with Stacey. From what I hear, it's got everything to do with Stacey. And it won't work. Well, I can't wait a year. I just can't. Look, Jean, I know you're hurting. But I have got things to tell her. And she will need to hug me, and I will need to hold her. And if this gets me closer to her... But it won't. You could end up in another prison. You might not even get a custodial sentence. All you'll be left with is a criminal record and a massive fine. I don't know what to do. You turn the engine off, you get out the cab and you come and have a cup of tea with me. We'll talk. I still want her nicked. And she wanted this equipment to be delivered at the right address. And I want her done for criminal damage and all. You're not the owner, it's not your call. Come on, officer, surely we can find a way around this. She's a vulnerable woman in the grips of a breakdown. There's a lot of damage back there. Exactly. She's the one foot in the bill, so back off, Mag. Thank you, Mo. I'll sort out the damage. It's a, it's a private matter. I'd just like to get her inside. Thank you. Come on, Jean. Fine. I don't even want to stay here anyway. You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. And Ruby don't mean it either. She loves having you here. No, I don't. Not if she's going to be like this. Fine. I'll pack a bag. No. Lil, just wait. Her mum has just gone to prison. And my mum is dead. And this is one of the last things I had left that belonged to her. Because everything else burnt in a fire. It's not the dress she destroyed. It's her memory. I really didn't know it was hers. No, but you knew it was special, didn't you? Because it was in a box at the back of my wardrobe. And that's why you took it out. And that's why you cut it into pieces. I mean, last week she pretended to throw herself down the stairs, and now this. She's out of control. It needs to stop. All right. Go to your room. Sorry. Lil, go to your room. You have got every right to be mad. She's just a kid. I had a call from the gynecologist. And? And it's what we thought. Endometriosis is severe. Rubes, I'm... No, don't. I'm trying to get my head around the fact that I may never be a mum. And here I am trying my hardest with Lily to be a mum to someone else's kid and she just keeps throwing it in my face. I know. But like Stacey's just gone to prison. Lily just needs a little bit of time just to get her head round it. Ruby, please don't kick her out. 